Dear friends, we are standing now several weeks before Rosh Hashanah, we're reading the last portions of the Torah, and we're in the month of Elul, the month of preparation for the new year where we blow the shofar, we add some prayers, and in many communities, specifically Spartak, they're already saying the Slichot prayers. In the Ashkenaz community, it happens closer to Rosh Hashanah. It's a time of self-reflection and of closing the year in a proper way. And in this week's portion, Ki which has the most commandments in the Torah, over 70 commandments are mentioned in this week's portion, the Torah mentions one of the punishments that were given in biblical times and in times when we were under the Torah rule in Israel was lashes. That if people did certain types of transgressions, they received lashes. And the Torah tells us you have to give 40 lashes. But in reality, they only administered 39 lashes. And the question is, why would the Torah mention 40 if we actually only gave 39? And this is a Torah rule. And within here lies an incredible message. And that is that the Torah is telling us that when you give lashes to someone, even if they're deserving by the actions that they have done to get a consequence that they must remember and remind them what they had done was terrible, the Torah is already telling us that when we have to give punishment, it should be in a form with pity and love. So 40, but really we're not going to give 40, we're already taking one off, we're only going to give 39. And this reminds me of a story where there was a father who used to be a malamid, he used to be a teacher in a little shtetl, and his son was one of his students, and this teacher was known as being one that had on the wall a belt, and if a kid was misbehaving, he would just show them the belt and the kid already knew that he better behave, he doesn't want to be uh, hit with the belt. And the teacher seldom, if ever, hit anyone with the belt. But once he heard that his son, who was in his class, was torturing some of the animals around, the cats and other animals, and he felt the son needed a lesson. And he called in his son one day, and he says, I have to give you a bit few lashes for your behavior, which is totally unacceptable. And the son was a little scared and worried, it will hurt, and the father put him on the bed, and he gave him a few lashes. And immediately after he gave him a few lashes, the father went out of the room. And the son gets up, and as he's walking out of the room, he hears a little crying, and he goes closer to a closed door, and he sees that the door is locked and he hears crying and he recognizes his father's voice. And he realized that as much as it hurt him to receive his punishment, it hurt his father to give the punishment. And this is what the Torah is telling us. That yes, we have to be strong on ourselves to demand that we do well. And sometimes we deserve, we have to pay a price. But even then God says it's all done with pity and love. It's done only because it has to be done, but really there's a lot of love exuding from God uh, to us, that He loves us and He wants to rehabilitate us, to give us the chance to be who we can really be. And as we get ready for Rosh Hashanah, that's the spirit we should be in. We have to do self-reflection. We have to be honest with ourselves. We have to fix those areas that have to be fixed. But remember, God loves us. He always accepts us. We're always His children, and that's the way we should feel. And in this spirit, we go into the high holidays. With this, I want to wish you Shabbat Shalom. May God bless every one of you. I love you all. Candlelight Time Montreal is 7.15.